Good morning and welcome back to the channel. My name is Wujaha and today we are going to talk about the new ZK EVM ZK Sync. Uh, ZK Sync is a new blockchain that's bringing ZK rollups to Ethereum and we'll definitely have some more videos about different types of rollups. We've talked about optimistic rollups in the past, probably less so about ZK rollups, uh, but we definitely will do. Anyway, we're not going to focus too much on that today because today what's happened is ZK Sync have announced that the ZK Sync era mainnet alpha is now open to all users. Now, ZK Sync have been in testnet for a long, long time, and finally they have a mainnet live. And today what we're really going to just talk about is kind of a little bit about it, but more importantly, how to bridge your funds over. And recently we did have the Arbitrum airdrop. We've had many, many airdrops in the past with the likes of Uniswap, OneInch, uh, ENS, Optimism, Aptos, Arbitrum, and the chances are that we probably will have a token for ZK Sync. Whether or not they airdrop it is a different question, but I think it's worth exploring. There's always going to be new incentives, new initiatives, new innovation on every single new chain. And so I think it's always worth exploring. Uh, and there's a variety of new chains coming. So I probably will have videos on some of them. Uh, but yeah, let's just talk about kind of what we need to do and how to get our funds over onto ZK Sync, ZK Sync. Uh, so you can read this article, which basically goes over the mainnet launch and kind of some of the things that ZK Sync are trying to achieve with their zero knowledge rollups. Essentially, the whole idea is to scale Ethereum, make it faster, cheaper, but also have the same level of security. That's essentially what it is. And essentially, ZK rollups are better than optimistic rollups. So in theory, the technology should be better than that of opt Optimism and Arbitrum. Let's see, of course, they have also started, you know, building lots of partners and some of our favorite applications are already on here. Sushi, uh, Yearn Finance, um, Alchemix, you know, there's loads of them on here already. Olympus as well, Frax. So expect this to kind of build over time as well. And some of these are live already as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is kind of look into how we can get funds on to ZK Sync. There's two ways at the moment. You can use the main ZK Sync bridge, which is bridge.zksync.io. I'll leave a link in the description below. And essentially you can go from Ethereum mainnet to the ZK Sync mainnet. Uh, we're not gonna use this method today. I mean, I have used this on one of my wallets beforehand. So I just wanted to test it out, but you know, gas fees and blah, 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 blah. You know, you don't wanna be spending $20 on a transaction um, if we can avoid it. If we can't, of course, then we'll have to obviously do this. But um, uh, so this is one way that you can do it going from Ethereum. You essentially take your Ethereum on the Ethereum mainnet and bridge it over to the ZK Sync uh, mainnet and your ETH will just get transferred. Um, and of course, if you want to go the other way, you just click withdraw and you can go the other way and kind of get your ETH back onto the Ethereum mainnet. What we're going to do is use this other application called Orbiter, which I believe is built by Starknet. And essentially we're going to use Arbitrum and just go to ZK Sync that way. Um, if you don't have funds on Arbitrum, then maybe you've got funds on any of these other blockchains. Maybe you've got funds on the BNB chain or Polygon, uh, Loopring, Optimism, you know, Starknet, which is another one that people are farming for potential airdrop as well. Uh, but today we are just going to use a little bit of, Ethe of Ethereum that we have on Arbitrum. So I don't have much in this wallet, so let's just do a tiny, tiny amount. And you can see here, we're gonna basically get this 0.005 ETH that we're sending from Arbitrum to ZK Sync. Just connect your wallet uh, and that's pretty much all you have to do. So we're gonna click send. Uh, you can see that there's a small withholding fee. I believe this is probably what, $2 or something. So it's not the end of the world, but yeah, I think it's definitely worth it, especially if you want to get your funds on there. And um, yeah, let's, so we're gonna send, confirm pay the transaction fee, which in today's case was only eight cents. Uh, and we can see that our ETH is being uh, sent over, sent into orbit. You can see that and uh, hopefully we can arrive on planet ZK Sync pretty soon. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take because uh, this is the first time I've ever actually used Orbiter. I have used the ZK Sync official bridge that we talked about before, but never used this. So we'll kind of see what happens. Oh, and I believe it's probably done. Maybe it's done, I don't know. Either way, I'll just wait, leave this going, and hopefully it gets processed in, no, it's still processing. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. Once you've got your funds on your ZK Sync, uh, well, on the ZK Sync mainnet, uh, you can basically start interacting with various different applications here. So you can see that some of these are live on ERA, uh, and so that's the ones that we're going to be looking at. 
So uh, have a look at these. I'll probably make some videos about certain things to interact with on the ZK Sync ecosystem. And I will probably have a deep dive into ZK Sync fairly soon. I am still working on it and there's you know a lot of stuff to kind of include in there. So it'll be a long form content video. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. Let me know if you want to see any specific content regarding ZK Sync or any of the other potential airdropping farming chains. Uh, <laughs> there's many of them going around crypto Twitter these days. So yeah, we'll wait and see for that. Anyway, I'll be back with plenty more content in the near future.